In a suburban neighborhood in the city of Xi'an, instructions from a loudspeaker tell residents not to leave their apartments unless absolutely necessary. Three-year-old Meng Do is making the most of the opportunity to stretch his legs. Members of his family are only allowed outdoors to take COVID-19 tests and collect delivered supplies. They are among the 13 million people who will spend New Year's Eve under strict lockdown. My son is very young and doesn't understand the lockdown or what the increasing case numbers mean. He only knows that many people outside are sick and if we go out, we could be infected. He panics a bit and feels scared. He tells me, I don't want to be infected and go into quarantine. His mother, Zhang Suwen, is a kindergarten teacher. She was shocked to receive notice of the lockdown last week. More than 1,000 cases have been reported in Xi'an since the beginning of December. It's the worst outbreak China's faced in months and the most severe measures imposed since the Wuhan lockdown last year. A policy allowing one member of the household to buy groceries every two days was scrapped earlier this week after infections continued to rise. Some residents have taken to social media to complain about a lack of access to food and other essential goods. The complaints prompted authorities to offer free food deliveries. They say the problem is with delivery and not supply. The supply of daily necessities in Xi'an is sufficient on the whole. The Commerce Ministry will take further measures to ensure stable supply and the prices of daily necessities. It's been two years since WHO officials in China were first notified of a mysterious flu-like illness emerging in Wuhan, and two years since Dr. Li Wenliang sounded the alarm about the outbreak before being silenced and eventually dying from the coronavirus himself. Since then, officials responsible for mishandling information in the early days of the pandemic have been punished, and most of the country's population has been double vaccinated. But it's still unclear how the coronavirus originated. China has defended its zero-tolerance approach to COVID-19. Officials here say closed borders and heavy-handed measures have kept total infections to about 100,000 and deaths to below 5,000. But international experts have questioned government figures. Beijing is under increased pressure to control this latest outbreak and lift the Xi'an lockdown before the Winter Olympics open in February. For Zhang Siwen and her son, they have little choice but to try to stay fit and healthy at home. Bei. Meng Do's favorite sport is swimming, but he doesn't know when he'll be able to do it again for real. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing.